and the people that are making it, from Mark Pellington to Jamie Alexander to Sullivan Stapleton to Mark Aguero. I mean, it's really, uh, uh, it's, it, you know, you never know. I mean, you can have the best of intentions, and then you bake the thing, and you're sort of, as you're making it, you're seeing it come to life, and you're watching it, and you just, it felt like it was really cohesive in that way, and it was really exceeded even my expectations in terms of uh, how exciting and thrilling it was, and with the kind of, with those kind of performances. Show. What do you think is going to be fun for them? I think, uh, uh, I, think the, I think the thrill ride and the it sort of, it really is, it sort of, just, it, it, as compelling as the opening scene is in the pilot, it just gets more and more propulsive and dynamic as the episodes go on. Um, and, and the way we sort of unfurl, and, and that Martin and the writers really have sort of begun to unfurl her mystery and who she is or who she might be. Um, I think it's compelling. Obviously, I, I mentioned earlier, but I think the actors are just so incredibly dynamic, and, and you typically would see them in, uh, you know, a, 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 a movie thriller or a movie action adventure. But the fact that they're there every week on the screen, uh, uh, you know, is, is I think going to be really exciting for the audience. What, what do you think makes that relationship work? Not as a romance, but their relationship is like kind of not knowing each other. I think it's, it's really unique, and it's it's you, they, there's so much they don't know, but they are they're drawn to each other by circumstance and also by uh, emotionally, I think, in terms of that they're both kind of going through uh, something, and you learn more about what that something is as we, as we go on. And it's a, it's a unique dynamic that you haven't seen really, I think, portrayed in quite this way. I think, she, you know, again, the fact that she is this, both this really vulnerable, uh, you know, uh, amnesiac who doesn't know who she is, but also this really strong uh, character, dynamic character who kind of is determined to figure it out. Uh, and then how he sort of is the counterpart to that, I think, is, is also really exciting. Do you think that tattoo on her back creates like an, I don't know, an illusory bond between them? I think I think that, and also I just think the circumstances of the, the drama of the way the pilot unfurls on the story, and, and that in the subsequent episodes, I think they're, they're sort of like, you know, really drawn more and more together. <laughs> It's always dangerous because you know there are always things you aspire to be like, you know. But it is, it's, it's. There's, I mean, we hear born a lot, you know. We hear like that kind of, I think. And I, and again, whenever you're doing any genre, or anything, I think you are compared to the best of those genres. So there's obviously a lot of exciting shows that we've seen that are in that uh, style and that vein. Uh, but hopefully, we're over time, we're kind of our own thing too. ourselves with the performances and the portrayals and the storylines that are their own that just make you fall in love with these characters in this world. But I would say it's it's in that vein of, of really grounded thrillers that uh, still have action and have adventure, but it's not it's it, and heightened. But the, the people and the, the, the their, their what they're going through make it believable. In your other universe, you've created a second spin-off, Ray of Arrows. And nice to start the universe brand new. I think it's always it's always um, great to be a part of something that's really exciting and good, and uh, and and I think um, so. Y yes, in that way, uh, uh, it's it's great that this is its own thing. I mean, you, you learn from stuff you've done before. I, I think if I were to compare it to any of the things I've been fortunate enough to be part of, it has some of the elements that Arrow had in the beginning in terms of it was there was action and adventure he was going through. There was a sense of mystery and intrigue about who he was and where he came from. She does not, uh, and that's that's another sort of fun layer, I think. Too. Was it consciously done choosing Johnny Woodworth after he just finished on the 100 to bring him in as kind of an unknown element on your show? No, it, it, honestly, it wasn't. It was just uh, he was great for that part, and so. Um, uh, but but no, no, it was, there was no affiliation, with that, which I like. <laughs> so obviously, you guys have gotten some feedback from fans and things already. What has been the most surprising thing?
gravitating toward any particular aspect. I get a lot of, uh, and this wasn't intentional this time on my part, but I get a lot of like, wow, it's really cool to see a woman doing that. Uh, and so that's uh, that's what I, I get a lot of. But um, it wasn't like we set out to do it just to say, oh, it'd be really great to have a, a female doing this. It just happened to be a really good story that had a female design. Can you talk about um, the New York aspect of it? Filming in New York, were you yeah. down there? I was. It was cold. <laughs> it gets cold there. Um, 